Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about events in D3. Let's get started. So first off, let's go in and make a copy of our template file here. Uh, and so uh, template, and let's call this um, events D3. Um, and then I'll go on and get into the D3 environment there and let me go on and open up our files before we even get started with that and so this one I'm gonna go on and open these as well and so something that we should talk about first is actually what what are uh, events okay so these are um, there's gonna be a lot of uh, built-in libraries that we have for d3 okay that are gonna be useful and events themselves are something like mouse clicks mouse overs keyboard strokes um, anything that is quote-unquote an event something happens to the screen okay now we can do this on method so for example um, if we create up some some div tag here let's say okay and we want to um, uh, d3 dot uh, select um, let's say div right and then let's uh, we would have something like on now again the selection here this on all right is uh, something that will actually listen for um, events okay now we can add or remove an event listener uh, so for example we can have a mouse over so if we scroll over something we want to change color and then we move our mouse out then it would change it back okay we can also have it do dispatch so it captures an event so for example uh, mouse clicks we can also do as well uh, we can also have it um, actually get the x and y coordinates so if we do something like dot mouse uh, we can grab the X and Y coordinates of um, the current mouse position. So again, you can do something like scavenger hunts or anything else. You know, you want something special to happen um, at those X, special X and Y coordinates. And you can also do touch as well for like touch screens and whatnot as well. Uh, so let's go on and actually, um, maybe it's a little bit better to get into um, an example, okay? And let's go on with this um, um, idea of the select on. Okay, and so we'll do something with um, an event listener in here, and uh, we also, let's actually go on and create up a div. So we've created up the div itself, but let's actually make this, um, I don't know, let's give it some style here. And we want uh, each of our divs uh, to be something like, what? Uh, height here will be 100 pixels, our width, here will be another 100 pixels, so we'll, we're basically just making a small box. Um, we want our background color to be navy. Uh, and then our margin here uh, will just be, let's make it big, 10 pixels. Um, and let's start up our server. So python-m uh, dash hdp.server. Let's go on and open up Safari here and do localhost 8000. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't save it. Oh, and am I in the right? I don't think I'm in the right folder for that. Oh, I am in D3 events. Run that. Um, and let's see what, what we missed here. Um, keyboard's dying on me. All right, so let's go on and double check that we have everything that we want in here. Uh, maybe we don't want it 10 pixels either. Um, let me go on and put this at five. Um, navy. Oh, you know what? Whoops. Here. That's, that's why nothing's popping up. Navy. Okay. So now we have a navy box. Now our goal here is when we scroll in, um, we want it to change to, let's say, fire brick, and we scroll out, okay, or we move out, we move the mouse out here, it'll change back to this um, navy blue. So let's do that. So first off, we want to go on and select 
all of our divs. Uh, and then on our mouse on here, let's say that we do a mouse over. Okay, and this is, uh, again, this is this needs to be uh, text here. Um, so if you wanted click or something, you would change this to click. If you want it to be uh, mouse out, so when the mouse leaves the box, um, you can do that as well. But for now, we want um, mouse, mouse over. And then we need to put in our event listener. So we'll just put in a function here. Uh, it's gonna be an anonymous function. And we want to do d three dot select this, okay? Because again, we want that object of the d three of the d three of the div tag, uh, and then we want to go on and do style, style, okay? Uh, background color here, and we want um, fire brick. So. Now, if we scroll in, in, mm, excuse me, uh, we have select all, select all function on uh, d3 dot select this. St oh background again I need to really invest in a new keyboard the keys are sticking and they're still not working oh wait is the server still running still server still running and again background okay all right so now it changes back to firebrick okay um, so now let's say we want to go on and we're going to redo all of this okay so I'm gonna go on and um, Put it here okay and instead of mouse over we're going to say mouse out and instead of fire brick we're going to put it back to um, navy okay so again we have two events so this first one is for our mouse over when we mouse over it should turn to fire brick it should turn this reddish color and then when we take our mouse out it should turn to navy blue so let me refresh and if we go in What happened? Excuse me. What in the world is happening today? Okay, so the issue is that I just, whenever I copied everything over, um, I put in um, an error in there. So let's go on and actually just type everything out. So let's do uh, mouse out here with a function. And then inside here, we want d3.select this. And then here, we want our style and our background color in here to be navy. OK, so then again, when we go in, turns red, come out. Something is not, and again, background D. There we go. Okay, so again, now you can see here when we mouse in, it's uh, red. Okay, when we mouse out, it's navy. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, so this is this is um, the basics kind of of our event handlers. Um, and again, you just got to make sure you don't have any um, typos. Uh, like I've been having today. Um, so if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.